If you're not using WordFence security plugin in your website, you're doing a big mistake. And if you're not using any of this security plugin, it's even worse. So today we are going to cover WordFence plugin, which is used from smaller websites to even big e-commerce websites which are using WordPress. And guys, you know, in this channel, I give a lot of important tips and tricks. So this will be one of the most important tips. So if you're new here, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And today I will show you how to use WordFence, how to install your website and keep your website safe. Because you see there are a lot of threats on the internet. It's not like somebody going to attack on your website personally, but there are a lot of floating viruses and malware on the internet which can attack your website and your website can be hacked. So don't wait for that time, install WordPress now. Okay, let's do it together. So go to your WordPress admin panel and then from left side bar, hover on plugins and click add new. And now search here WordFence. So we are going to use this plugin WordFence security, firewall on malware scan. You can see they got 4 plus million active installation and almost very good rating around 4.5. I think the bad rating are because it's a little bit complex plugin sometimes but I'm going to explain you everything so you don't need to worry about the complexity of the plugin. It does a lot of great work. You can see that it is updated 3 days ago. So it is frequently updated and they always keep updating the definition of viruses and malwares which keep your website safe to the newer attacks. Click on install now. Once it is installed, click activate. So plugin is activated, you can find this plugin in left side bar, WordFence, click on WordFence because I was already using the WordFence plugin. In your case, if you're using it the first time, they can ask you your email ID to get the free key. So once you get that key, you will see a screen something like this. So this is a dashboard, you can see firewall is protecting 64% and scan security, which is detection of security issues is 60%. We are going to use this plugin free version, we are not going to cover the pro version. Because I'm using this free version from so many years on different websites and it works really well. If you're somebody who really wants high level of security, you can go for the pro version also. I'll add the link in description from where you can download the pro version. So this is a dashboard. If you scroll the page, you have a lot of information about WordFence. You have information of the scans. For example, you can see I got two issues in recent scans. I will show you how you can scan your website. And then it shows you if there's update available for plugins or themes. And here is a firewall summary that how many Attacks were blocked on your website in day, in week or in month. You can see I got 158 complex attacks blocked on my website and 15 brute force attacks blocked and total 173. And this is a attacks blocked by WordFence on all the websites. So more than 4 million websites are using WordFence. So this is the number of attacks blocked by WordFence on all the websites. It is really nice because it's a big plugin. So it gets a lot of data from the attacks happening on different websites and on base of that data, it make your website even safer. So quick overview on the options, you got firewall, scan, tools, login security, all options and you got help of course. So first let's see what is firewall, click on firewall. Okay, so this is the firewall page. You can see the different stats about how WordFence is protecting your website. And then you got rate limiting where you can block the callers that are using too many resources or stealing content. So in this page, you can see a lot of stats about firewall and here, you can see the option for blocking and it says WordFence let you take control of protecting your site with powerful features like block traffic on IP, IP range, hostname, browser refer, a lot of different options. This option is really useful when you find some unusual traffic on your website from certain IP or from certain country. You can block all those things from here. And also by the time when you use WordFence website, you will see a lot of IPs which are blocked by WordFence which are trying to steal some data or trying to inject something on your website. You will see all the IP will be listed here. So this is a firewall blocking, you don't need to put a lot of mind here. That's why I like WordFence, it is auto run plugin. You just install it one time and then configure a little bit as I'm explaining this video. So make sure you watch the video until then so you know all the options which are important for you and they'll make your website really safe. And the most interesting part of this plugin is scan. If you go to scan here and then from here you can start a new scan. It will take few minutes to scan your complete website but once the scan is done, you can see a lot of messages by WordFence what you can do to make your website safer. And this is not something you have to do. And there are a lot of things which WordPress will fix for you automatically. You will see in a minute. So now it is scanning for the file changes. If there's a file on WordPress repository and on your website, if they're different files, but they are named same, they're coming from same plugin or from same theme, but they're different. So this kind of trigger a warning for WordPress because the original file is different from the file on your website. So that can be a possible security threat. Because what happens sometimes when somebody hack your website, and the file looks very similar. For example, like admin.php. This is a file added by uh, WordPress. And what the attackers do, they will hack the file and they add some malicious code in the website. So what WordFence do, it will check the file against the original file in WordPress repository. And it will tell you this file has been changed. And then you can fix that file just by WordFence. 
and then it's scanned for malware, content safety, public files, password scan, vulnerability scan. Give it a few minutes and you'll see a lot of recommendation by WordFence plugin to make your website safe. Okay, so the scan is done. I found three issues on website. Two of them are update related issues. Like I always tell you, keep your website updated all the time to keep it safe. WordPress is telling the same thing. So you should keep your website updated all the time. And then there is the issue to password script for the malware scan due to scan settings. If you click here, you can see what is the issue. So I got a folder on my website demo. I will read this folder after creating this video. And some part of this tutorial can be blurred because security reasons for my website. And then what you can do, you can go to option and change the paths or you can mark as a fix. If you think it's a false alarm, you can just mark as fix and this will be gone. Okay, if you have any real issue in your website, they all will be shown here. And you can see here, if you have some issues, for example, like file changes, malware scan, what you can do, you can click on delete or deletable files, or you can use option repair or repairable files. This will automatically repair those issues. I am not having any of those issues on the website, so I cannot see those things. But if you have this thing, you can click on repair or repairable files. But guys, like I always say, always get a backup of your website. No matter whatever you're doing on your website, you should always have updated backups before doing anything big on your website. Even in case if WordPress don't even work or any other security plugin you're using on a website, if you have backup, you can always restore your website from backups. And then we have tools option. Okay, if you click on tools, you see live traffic here. So who is visiting your website right now? And you can see this is me who's visiting my website. So WordPress tell me if I want, I can directly block this IP. I'm not going to block my own IP. And you can see this is something malicious, which is not good for your website. You can block the IP of this person directly. And, and to know more about IP, you can use run who is, and it will give you information where this person is coming from, what he did on the website. For example, if somebody is from a different country and is trying to log in your website, he visited your login.php page. So in that case, it seems like it's a malicious activity. It seems like somebody is trying to log in into your website admin panel. So what you can do, you can just block this IP from here. And this person cannot access your website anymore. And you can see a lot of IPs which are automatically blocked by WordFence who are trying to access different things on my website, but they're already blocked. So this was the live traffic and there who is lookup, import, export option, diagnostic. I think this is not really very important at this moment. And guys, if you think that I'm leaving some options because they're not really very important or they're like auto run things and it doesn't make sense for a lot of the people who are watching this video. So this is all you can see on this page, live traffic. And it's a really important one. And then here login security. Okay, there's a two factor authentication provided by WordFence. If you want, you can use this option. I'm not a big fan of this thing, but if you're somebody who wants to turn on two-factor authentication, you can use this option. And here you got settings for two-factor authentication. And the most important page for you will be all options page. Okay, so if you go to all options page, you can see all the options provided by WordFence. The thing which are interesting here, this one, basic firewall options. So for example, if your website is new, you can put the website in learning mode. And after a few days when WordPress will understand the traffic of your website, you can choose enable and protecting mode. And then we got advanced firewall options. You can add your IP here, which should bypass all the rules because sometimes what happens, for example, sometimes you forget your password and you try to enter your password multiple times. It happens with everyone. So WordFence will block your IP because for WordFence, it will be like attack. So you can add your IP here. So it will always bypass all the rules and you will never get blocked even after using the wrong passwords. Then there's allow list services. If you're using Sukuri, Facebook, Uptab Robot or different kind of services, they will be whitelisted by WordFence. This good one, Manage WP, I think you should keep it on. If you know what is Manage WP, it's real nice. You should check this option so that they're compatible with each other. If you don't know what is Manage WP, I created a video which is really helpful. If you want, I'll put the link in description or check the card on the top and go and watch this video. That is really amazing video which will really help you to manage your website. Okay, and if you want to block some IP directly, you can just add those IPs here. And there are a lot of different rules here. By default, I recommend you to keep everything like this, how it comes with WordFence installation. And then brute force protection. This is an interesting one. So here it says, lock out after how many login failures. Somebody tried to log in your website and he entered 20 times wrong passwords, then he should be blocked. I think it's a very high number. You should keep it like five because you already whitelist your IP, so it will not be effective. And lock out after how many forgot password. 20 is like really high. So maybe I'll do it 10 and count failures over what time of period, like in how much period of time these failures will be counted. I think four hours is good. Amount of time user blocked, how long you want this user to be blocked after using the wrong passwords or, or using the forgot password attempts. So four hours I think is a decent time. 
this is an interesting one immediately lock out invalid usernames i think you should use this option because sometimes people they try to enter your website by like admin user or name of your website something like that so you should always immediately lock out invalid usernames and there are different options here you can check but i will really recommend you to keep everything like like this you do not need to take any more actions it is really nicely configured already when it comes by wordpress repository just install it and everything works very nicely and you got advanced country blocking option there is a pro feature if you want you can use the pro version you can check the link in the description for pro version but i highly recommend you to use cloudflare because this option in cloudflare is free so why we need to pay if the option is available free of cost and then it scans scheduling how much you want the wordpress to scan your website in free version it is wordpress to choose when to scan the website which is recommended also and additionally whenever you want you can log in your website and you can scan it again so if you're logging your website every week you can scan your website every week if you're logging every day you can scan every day normally wordpress automatically do the checkups by itself and then you got the basic scan types so standard scan is most recommended if your website got hacked you can use the high sensitivity one but use only in the cases if your website got hacked or you think there are a lot of attacks happening on the website so in, for most of you standard scan is the best thing sometime it can give false positive if you are using high sensitive scans then you got general options you can leave everything check like this performance option so this is important one some people says word friends slow down the website in my cases i use in lot of websites none of my website got slow down maybe because i use also nice hosting which is more powerful so if you can see this your server is getting high load you can use this option and check use low resources scanning which reduce server load by lengthening the scan duration it will take long time to scan but it will like less powerful which will bring less load on your server rest everything you can leave the same then you have advanced scan options here you can add some files which you don't want to scan for example like jpg file png file or webp images you can add those here but i recommend you mostly keep everything like this how it comes with word friends and then we got live traffic we already covered this option then you got import export and and login security which we already discussed i hope this video is not very long but i think this is really important for you guys to have this plugin in your website like from day one from day one when you created your website the first plugin you should install is word friends plugin if you like the video and you think it was useful for you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you want to achieve 100 out of 100 for google page page scores check out this video on screen